If I can change one role in the world, I would probably change, I would probably change cigarettes being legal. Why? Because a lot of people um, smoke cigarettes and next thing you know they have um, cancer or they get really mm -hmm. sick and end up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Great job you guys. I think a community circle allows kids a chance to express themselves, build relationships with each other, share their struggles and their successes. I think a community circle is a way for a classroom to bond and it helps the teacher to know what's going on with her kids. All right, guys, thanks for coming to our community circle today. We're gonna to take a second and review our norms and our procedures for running this successfully. The first thing we do, we need to recognize is Sammy the starfish. He's our talking piece. Who can tell me why it's important to have a talking piece? So I think the talking piece is a very important part of the norm because they know that that's their time to talk. They all have a voice and that voice is valued. I think it's important that kids don't get to talk over each other, that there has to be procedures in place to teach them that, to be respectful of that individual time. Kids don't have to talk. They're allowed to pass. And what's great about community circles is the more you do them, you'll see other kids open up and they'll get comfortable and they'll share. And so you don't pressure them. We're gonna go ahead and start with one word, how you're feeling today. And if you feel like passing, you can. Excited. I'm feeling tired. Just one word. Hi, come here. Excited. Excited. Joyful. Excited. There's a lot of procedures when you're doing community circle. You don't just say, oh, let's sit around the circle and talk. Um, they have to be trained. Just like anything else in our classroom, there has to be a system in place. We always start with one word, how we're feeling. And they can be honest. They can pass, too. Excited. Wow, we're all excited today. That's great. I feel honored. Okay, the next thing we're doing is our compliment statements, and we're going to compliment somebody, and we're also going to talk about how that compliment, how that person's actions impacted your life. We started the year with reading the book, um, how to Filling Your Bucket, and that's about how when you say nice things to other people, how it actually makes you happier too, and you're spreading kindness and joy. Um, I, I complimented my grandpa and his reaction and made me more more joyful than I used to ever feel. Mm. Reaction to what? Reaction for what? Because when I when I complimented him, he he was like all happy and I and I liked seeing him like that way. Hmm. So you filled his bucket. I think it's important to teach students gratitude and at this level to be kind people. I want to raise good citizens that care about others. It's not just about reading and writing. It's about raising good human beings. And I think it starts now. It starts earlier. All right. Great job. And you know what? Take all those compliments you had for your family and go home tonight and tell them. It's important to tell people those things and fill their bucket. All right. The next thing is our thought-provoking question. If you could change one rule at home, what would it be? Oh. Only one. So the thought-provoking questions, I actually just researched on the internet. I looked up community circles and looked up questions and I printed them out. And all I do is I just look at those and I decide for that week kind of where we are as a class and what's been going on, what might be a good fit for that week. And I just put a date next to that question and then I know I've already done it. Um, one rule I would change for my house is um, no eating other people's food. Like if they eat, like if someone buys their snack or food, um, to not eat their food. One rule I would change is to eat in the living room and on the couch, not at the table all the time. So when kids are sharing, if another child agrees with them, they get to wave their hands in the air. And I have them do that because it also, it makes the, the child sharing feel validated and it just lets them know, hey, I'm not the only one. The next thing is our conflict resolution. This is where if you get to share something you're struggling with or something that's bothering you, it could be with somebody in the class even. If it is, it's okay. If somebody says something to you, we don't attack that person. We, we help them work it out. But you don't let it go. This is where we can 
talk about it and work on things together as a family um, or things at home. So remember you say, I feel, so I would say, I feel because and I wish that, okay? And you don't have to share anything if you don't want to. Pass. I'll pass. So I do community circles every Friday. I think, it, I think that consistency is important so that students know and they can count on them, that they know that there's a time when they're going to get to share and express themselves and share their feelings and their problems and anything else going on in their lives. Um, I wish... Um, I feel? Oh, I feel um, kind of mad at my mom because um, she's always yelling at me for something that I didn't do, and, and then I get in trouble for it. And she makes me... They have any problems they want to share. It could be at home, it could be at school, it could be anywhere. That's a time for them to talk about it. And then I always try to end the community circle with something positive, with a fun activity, with a team building activity that they leave with a smile on their face. Things you do at the beach. I'm building a sandcastle. I'm, I'm building, building a sandcastle. Sand I'm building a sandcastle. What, what you got? got? I'm digging up some sand. I'm, I'm digging, digging up some sand. sand. I'm digging up some sand. What you got? There's a lot of positive things that come out of community circles. I feel like you just have a better understanding of what's going on in your students' lives. I feel like you build that relationship with them and it lets them know you care about them. It's not just about reading and math, it's about the whole person.